Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while. Um, I got a bit busy, but I still plan to do more videos. And um, yeah, I need to update you on my situation the World uh, Live Championship. Probably most of you know already. Uh, spoiler, I'm out, uh, as you can see, uh, this amazing um, bracket. Um, um, bracket. Uh, architecture so i was up there i played uh, four games with uh, alex norman uh, aka enorman very very strong player and um, um i actually played not too bad we played four games uh, all four games of a match all of four were draws which is quite unusual um and then i lost in the tie breaks um yeah and definitely wasn't really much in shape but um, I want to show you some games um, that I play with him. Um, maybe one today and one in another video. Um, but I wanted to comment it a little bit on the situation of the World Cup at the moment. As you can see here, let's start from the left side of the brackets. Um, Judoka Joe um, beated Robert, aka Roxar from Croatia, um, in a tie breaks. Um, it was actually a very fun, very fun match. I was literally screaming at my screen when Robert was this close from uh, actually beating Joe. In one of the game, I think he, he definitely had the win. Um, but the pressure <laughs> and um, I mean, it happens. Joe is a, such a skilled player. What... Um, four-time uh, world champion so uh, I can't imagine what is it to actually get in uh, that situation against him um, I'm not sure if he's playing he plays very well some games and some other games um, yeah he seems just not in shape so I'm not sure uh, but at the end he always managed to to get away with it and um, and to win so yeah that's the experience of the champion um, so at the same time, uh, Happy Key we beat it quadly, but Stepanzo beat it Max Shark, and then there was an also a very nice match between Epic Key and Stepanzo. Um, Judoka beat it in the stars from Hungary quite um, convincingly, and um, unfortunately, unfortunately because I was I was rooting for the Europe team. Um, and now we have a nice uh, match in the semi-final, Judoka against Epikiwi. So I'm rooting for Epikiwi again. Sorry, Joe, but it's just uh, <laughs> nothing personal. Um, but I think it would be a, a very interesting match. Um, I'm not sure they've ever played before each other, and they have a very different style. Judoka is quite aggressive, and Epikiwi is known as the Python, and squeeze the, um, the opponent in the end game. Um, so I'm very, very curious to see what happened. Uh, on the other side of the bracket, so there is me. Uh, more uh, about this soon. I'll show you one of the games. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't pass. I could have, uh, I could have played again against Surprise Fish, um, who I beat it last uh, year in the quarterfinals. But uh, well, uh, this year I think it would have been much harder. Uh, ban uh, Super Fish from Scotland is, I've, I think he's every year better and this year is really, really in shape. Um, there were a couple of games very interesting between Enderman and Super Fish, uh, all very much uh, about tempo. Um, um, I will say they're both two players that like to play control style. Um, so I was surprised to see aggressive games or based on tempo but um, yeah they were quite balanced so they are 2-2 at the moment and then we have Chiki Oliver like is from uh, Hungary he beat it, uh, Dr. Bees Dr. Bees is the youngest um, uh, top 5 player we have I think he's 17 from Netherlands and um, yeah it might be just not very experienced yet but he's really strong as well um, Gandak was beaten by Rise again, sorry Yon. And uh, um, so we have again a representative from the US, um, 
in the quarterfinal against um, Oliver, and uh, uh, Oliver won. Um, I think it was quite balanced. The match was quite balanced, and um, especially the la in the last game, um, uh, Rise again actually had the one in uh, uh, um, a win. Sorry, a winning sequence in four, uh, four moves, and uh, but I mean again, there was a lot of pressure and uh, anxiety, not so in low on time. Um, it could have actually um, tied the match. They could have gone to three three, and then they would uh, they should have played tie breaks. But um, he didn't see the sequence, and um, Oliver uh, played well enough to convert the result. So he actually won the fourth, the sixth game. Sorry, um, won the match for two, and now is up to whoever wins Anerman against uh, Surprise Fish. So this is the the summary. Uh, again, we'll have uh, here one representative from US and one from Europe, and on the other side, uh, Chigi from Europe, and we'll see if. Uh, if uh, Super S Fish managed, let, let's say we have, let, let's hope we have another representative from Europe. Um, but uh, Alex also plays really, really well. So let's get to uh, the game actually. So this is game number three in our match. I don't want to show you probably all all the games, or maybe I'll do it in other in other videos. Um, but I think this one was quite interesting and also the one where I probably had the best chances to win. Um, but um, but yeah, something didn't work. Didn't work as expected. Um, so I played um, I played the um, traffic light. So the situation here was 1-1. One, one. We had two draws already. Um, normally as black again, you don't want to... Uh, be too aggressive unless you have to win the game for the match but um, uh, Alex has um, a very control uh, oriented style which means he, he loves to play with ants and he loves to get into long end games where he can maneuver pieces properly and I thought I should have played something a bit more um, uh, unusual instead of the um, typical buffer or the standard uh, set up this diamond that he played so I went for this traffic light which I played a few times and um, it's it's a bit risky but um, I think it gives also good chance to chances to confuse your opponent and uh, actually be a bit more aggressive at some point the idea is that you basically keep the pill bug for a better location instead of playing a typical anti-spawn with a ladybug oh, sorry with a um, pill bug here um, instead of the ladybug um, then we put the ladybug here and we keep the pillbug for later on. And also with the mosquito here you have quite a good um, quite good um, defensive um, defensive setup. So ideally black would put uh, later a pillbug here and an ant here to complete the pocket. And uh, so it, it's it's again another slightly different version of a pocket. Uh, um, I think it's quite interesting. But the point now actually is um, is why to play, of course. So um, the most natural move is to pin the mosquito, uh, not necessarily, but um, pinning the mosquito would have been uh, probably natural. Uh, White decides to go for this for the anti spawn and keep the pinning for later. Um, so um, I go for this move again, double um, defense. Um, I don't know how to say two defenders, um, and uh, if I can, I will also place a pill back there or keep it for later. Who knows? If I'm not under attack, I will keep it for later. So now uh, it's time for for White to uh, commit. Um, decides to pin the ant, and uh, I I could have probably. Uh, Pin the um, pin the ant using the mosquito, um, but I guess I wanted to play something a bit more unusual. Um, I've played something similar before. I, I don't think it's bad. Uh, of course, here I have to sacrifice another another ant. Um, well, let me get rid of the uh, the done button. I sacrifice another ant. Um, but um, 
Um, so the anti game is quite good, and uh, even without the pill bug, I'm playing pretty okay. And I can use the pill bug in a different, uh, in a different location, maybe here. So to have a um, you know, proximity pill bug, uh, actually a mosquito copying the pill bug, so a, mos a proximity mosquito, let's say. Um, this is an idea, or um, what else? Uh, uh, well, I, I could play a pill bug here in this position, um, and uh, a bit more aggressive. So the pill bug could throw some pieces into into this spot here, um, or even move itself in here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of flexible. Um, but I decide instead to go for uh, for this. Um, so uh, the the spider has two options. It will it will be able to pin the ant or the mosquito. Um, white decides to uh, pin the, the spider I go for another ant so I have actually two free ants uh, and the spider here is um, it's still in a potential good position it can pin the mosquito later on of course this white ant here doesn't want to be here to pin the spider uh, it's not effective um, also the spider could um, could eventually get here uh, with the idea of pinning the ladybug in the bidirectional pin and taking some spawn points for white. Um, so, okay, white sacrifice an ant. Uh, now, if, if white plays another ant, then I would use my mosquito to pin it. So, I think white has to um, keep the last ant in reserve and wait for the, the best moment to, to place it. Um, the idea here is to uh, use the spider to pin my my ant here um, and then once this gap is filled um, then the white ant will be free so I basically it's trying to take advantage of the fact that I pin it in elbow rather than um, a straight pin well, my idea was to control this spot with a square um, so that he couldn't place a, a beetle for example which would uh, mm, would be dangerous later on. Um, it would be e closer to my queen. Sorry. Um, so now it's my time actually to uh, go for for a more aggressive idea. Um, since White is spending at least a couple of moves um, to um, get again some some ant game, um, I thought I would um, I would try to compensate with a beetle game. Uh, given also I have uh, chances to move here and the, the mosquito stays in this pocket um, white decided to change the to shift the pin of course the, the, it was not worth it on the spider um, but I'm also happy because um, I neutralized the mosquito and I've I'm a bit more safe in uh, I mean, it, my position was already quite quite safe, but the mosquito is one of the most dangerous pieces, so always happy to uh, shut it down. Oh, now the beetle, the pill bug comes. Um, the, there are multiple ideas here. The pill bug, uh, the, the most important one, and the pill bug moving here, uh, and then using the pill bug to throw the ant somewhere else and free free the beetle. Well, actually, once the pill bug moves here, the beetle is already free. Um, also, the mosquito has pillback power. You'll see it, there are quite a few options. It's quite a flexible, uh, flexible uh, position. Interesting. Uh, white um, is threatening to uh, get into this spot potentially. Um, this is a trigger spot, um, so of course my my uh, grasshopper can get out. Um, and the beetle will get stuck in there, um, but sometimes this this moves still work. Um, uh, to be to be fair, they work better when the mosquito is around because then having a beetle next to my queen and then um, with a free mosquito, uh, if they could reach the beetle, they can convert into a beetle, and so it's useful to keep it um, around my queen. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the best but um, I mean the, there's also another idea which is simply climbing up on the ant and then on my ant and then and then you uh, get back this spawn point 
um, with the same idea as we had before to try to free this ant. Um, but this this maneuver also takes two free moves, so I was actually quite okay with allowing that. And now it goes. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, rank. I created a sort of beetle factory, but not on, not only. Um, the main threat is probably to just throw the ant into this kill spot, which seems counterintuitive, but uh, since the the Black Queen is not really in danger and White doesn't have many available pieces, um, throwing the ant in here and then going on top of the ant using the mosquito, for example, well, actually, you don't even need to do that. Um, the, the point is that you kind of change the structure of the hive. You try to uh, make the ant uh, part of the core of the hive and then you gain mobility on all the... All the other, oh sorry, um, on all the, the other pieces. So, um, oops, uh, so that was fine. Oh, what's happening here? Um, so, what? What happened here? So, um, after this move, um, White wisely uh, removes the ant from there. Let's assume uh, White goes on with this. Then I can just throw this here. And uh, you can see that now all my pieces are uh, mobile, except, uh, well, also my queen at the moment. But let's, let's see, let's say we keep the queen in, in line. This is the, the core of the hive. Hopper, Queen, Black Queen, White Ant, and Black Ant, and the other pieces are all mobile. So definitely, this would be a bad uh, trade for for uh, for White. Um, so White just retreats the the ants basically. Um, time for me to get up with the beetle. Another beetle comes in. Um, and I have already two beetles on top of the hive. Um, this mosquito is kind of a bit weird here. Um, but white would have to spend another move again to pin it and then also anchor it, like self-pin it, to avoid again the maneuver we've seen before where I just throw the, the ant into the, the pit. So, um, into the, the, the gaps here. Um, so yeah, not worth it. White goes for another idea, trying to um, create a sort of a bridge for the beetle to to reach the Black Queen. Um, I have two beetles here, so actually it's not a big deal for me. Um, it's still it's still fine. I don't really have to do much. Um, I decided to move the mosquito back in here, so now I have ant power. Um, this beetle is in a pseudo pocket, so quite. Um, Quite good. I cannot pin it, but uh, I can pin the mosquito using. Uh, sorry, I can pin the ant using my mosquito, for example. But if I have these two beetles here, why not using them, right? Um, so the idea is that now my um, black mosquito would be um, free to move. Um, so I'm basically, I basically traded the white grasshopper here for the black grasshopper here. My my queen is not in danger yet uh, because white doesn't have any doesn't have much fire power. Um, so why decide actually to get out of the kill spot uh, with the idea of just pinning my my hopper. Um, now it's time for me to to pin the ant. Uh, and now I think white missed um, opportunity. The opportunity was to place the ant uh, as soon as soon as possible. Instead, um, Placing the spider, let me um, place an ant here, and now um, and now I have an advantage in the ant game. So, um, pinning the mosquito is a good idea, but I think the timing was wrong, and he inverted the move order. I should have played the ant first. And now I'm quite happy of my position. Um, I played the spider here with the idea of pinning uh, the um, ant in this position and uh, basically locking this ant in a bidirectional pin so I will be pretty sure that the ant game is in my favor 
Um, so White decided to go for for another idea, so it just moves the beetle on top of the pill bag, um, probably with the idea of um, using this pseudo pocket for the ant. Uh, but we'll see that I have also another idea to, yes, to to prevent uh, that ant to be free, and it is to create a gate. Uh, look at here. So now white has basically no way um, for this ant to come out at least but right now um, but uh, there is an idea that uh, you definitely have seen if, if you have some experience and uh, involves the pill bug underneath the, here the beetle so once the pill bug is free um, then the pill bug can uh, move the ant uh, outside the hive and um, and then yeah potentially the ant can be free again um, but uh, white is also running out of pieces. I have two pieces in reserve. White has only one, and I have a little, um, a slightly better mobility. So uh, I'm still confident that I'm in a better position. Um, time to use my pill bag. So now one threat is just to throw the hopper in here and free my ladybug, for example. Um, I'll try to rearrange the hive somehow to to get more. Uh, um, yeah, to get more pieces in, to, to free more of my pieces. White decide to um, move the ant uh, out, as we said, and at this point I have to pin it, otherwise I would, um, I, I don't, why would I not do that? Uh, otherwise white would pin my, my ant. Um, but it's not all, in the sense that um, white has some trigger points here, so either I pin here or I pin here, um, there is always a trigger point, like they're they both in elbow pins. So if white managed to place um, the last hopper here, for example, it would free at least one of the two, hop the two ends. Um, uh, I decide to go to the other, oh uh, no, sorry, no, 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 stop, I decide to go to the other side but again there is a trigger point here as well um, so if white fills that elbow then the ant will be free as well so white goes with the hopper in, in here and um, finally I get uh, my ant another ant free um, because again the ant was locked into this elbow uh, got to be careful that also the mosquito will be uh, locked in an elbow when my ant moves away, so the mosquito is potentially like can potentially come out at some point, and you will see how. Um, I'm trying to uh, take in the skill spot at some point, maybe not straight away, because mm, white still has a pill bug and can move the the queen away, but I can I can cover the queen and then um, and then fill that spot. Um, as we said, uh, white managed to, to free one of the, the ants. Um, I'm, I'm trying to containing the, the ant. Um, so this is instead of blocking. We have seen a gate uh, before. We've seen pinning and we've seen now blocking. So different ways to contain um, different like opponent species. Um, of course, again, the ant can be thrown uh, out uh, and uh, by the pill bug and so I have to find the right way actually to to keep the the ants confined um, it's all uh, like basically it's all played on these three points here um, so now I also have I also um, have the chance to shift the pin here and keep this uh, pin the uh, ant in place but then we will basically get back and forth uh, and I wanted to try to play for a win. Um, so I decided to take the skill spot and just let this ant free. Um, it, it decides not to get the ant free, but to just lock my, my ant first. And then probably you going with the pill bug, uh, sorry, with the beetle uh, here to free the ant, the ant at some point. So it's just another way to get in more ants free. Um, to try to win the ant game. 
Oh, here. Um, what am I trying to do here? Basically, the idea is I want to trade the upper for two pieces here. Um, and then, um, yeah, this is one of the main ideas. Um, let's see what happened. Um, I, I go up with a hopper. Um, white covers my my ant. Here again, I'm trying to, as I said, to put a hopper in here to free my two pieces. Um, White has again some control on the end. Um, also, notice this my ant here is in a pseudo pocket. So um, I actually should have. The hive is getting large. Uh, I should have probably pinned uh, the ant first before engaging in some um, other ideas here. Um, but instead, I went for the, this direct. Uh, I'm, I'm basically uh, doing a pin replacement. What, what I want to do is to put the spider back here and use the pill bug to attack. Or, uh, well, there are different options. You can use the spider to move over um, here to the right and then up here. And then actually, this could work as well. A bit longer, but it could work. But I should have uh, done that. Um, I should have probably pinned the ant first. Um, why? I'll show you why. Uh, because now white can convert, well, basically trade uh, an ant for a mosquito. Uh, and with a mosquito, it's kind of harder to um, to play against. Um, because now the mosquito can um, get next to the pill bug and now basically have two pill bugs, potentially another beetle. So. Everything becomes a bit more complicated for me now. Um, I just, I try as well this maneuver to I can also convert a mosquito um, an ant into a mosquito, um, but I also sacrificing a spider in the process. So, is it worth it? Mm, not sure. Um, I'm the pill bug here is a good thing for me. Is the pill bug is almost surrounded, um, but the, this mosquito here can easily move away and I have three kill spots to take one uh, could be mm, taken by the, the beetle one by the ant and one by the ladybug so potentially I'm fine but I have to find the right order to do so and it's actually not that easy um, here white is basically threatening to uh, move the, the queen away and then it becomes much more complicated for me to win or to use pillbug power to move the spider away and then once the spider is not in the angle, right angle of attack, it also becomes complicated. Um, so I decide to move the spider away. Um, this also is quite dangerous because if white can uh, use the mosquito to throw my ant into, oops, sorry, what's happening? To throw my ant into into here, then I definitely don't have any chance to win because then the white queen will be free. So at this point, I decided that I would move my ant away, uh, and uh, um, this mosquito is still can still move like an ant. Notice that there is a door here, so the mosquito can always come out. Um, I am the white is basically doing back and forth, and uh, at this point, uh, um, I was very low on time, and I um, accept the draw, but. Um, well, I, I offered a draw, actually, I don't remember, but um, yeah, the thing is that I wasn't really sure how I was supposed to continue this this uh, game. Maybe I should have just uh, gone on with this. Um, and uh, if the mosquito cover here, uh, maybe I have still some chances, but I am i don't have uh, so many pieces. Oh, actually, this spider here, I didn't notice. I could have probably, the, the prob well, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, it becomes a, it's a bit complicated, but um, maybe with the right sequence, I could have I could have won. But um, white can also just probably wait if white just plays this move. Um, I can I have to try to play on Zutzwang. Um, hmm, 
maybe actually that should have been that would have been a good idea but yeah what is white gonna do here for example um Mm -mm. let's say it goes back here uh, here well it's not uh, as easy actually but um, oh no well now the mosquito will get pillbot power okay it, it gets complicated but um, I am um, I probably accepted accepted um, the draw before uh, <laughs> before the time and uh, oh, probably had some better moves um, earlier on as well um, but I actually had a, a quite promising position so this is the uh, this is the game where I probably wasted a uh, good advantage um, in the game the game after the actually last game I played a pretty bad move and Alex managed to get a good advantage and it was basically this game the other way around and I managed uh, to get a draw just uh, by luck um, but um, yeah and then in tie breaks you know what happened I will publish probably another video with more analysis of um, the other games and uh, I would like also to publish some some videos about analysis of other games that have been played or uh, they are playing right now in the, the World Cup um, okay hope you enjoyed it and see you next time